Hey, man, what it is? This is Dame, and I am your host, and this is By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dame By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dame By Any Means. Y'all know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, $200, $1,000. It is much, much, much appreciated. Y'all, I'm about to start giving y'all a little more controversial topics because some one of my um, subscribers, man, they constantly ask me to do it because they, you know, they respect what I talk about when it comes to this even more than even a boxing thing. And I promise them I will keep my foot on on that. And also to that man y'all see on y'all screen right now, I feel as though I owe him that. Um, the Candace Owens types can't fool me. You can not talk black but sleep white. And y'all might be like, Dean, so what you got a problem with interracial dating? You no, know, I don't have a problem with interracial dating. I got a problem with people who act like they're not interracially dating. Don't be all power to the people and pro-black this and like you Dr. Umar or something like that. But you out there running around with a white woman. You cannot have it the same way or a Spanish woman or whatever. Any woman that is not black or don't identify as black. Because to me... And yeah, if you're a Latino, you're hearing this, you're, you, you know, you, you know, was at the root of your DNA. You know, it was the first molecule of your DNA that got started first, your African heritage, not anything else, not the Aztecians and the, and, and the, the Tato Indians or whatever else y'all, y'all try to claim. Cause the only thing that stops you from looking like me is that your ancestors were defiled the same way mine was by the same people, actually. So miss me with all that. But it's some Latinos, they don't identify as black. And then there's some that actually do understand their black culture and black heritage. Either way, whatever side you want, if you're not on that side of the Latinos that identify as black, then I ain't got no words for you neither. This message is to you too. You cannot be talking black, but sleeping white. You can't be Candace Owens and be over there on the, um, on a certain sector of YouTube. And then when once the Caucasian guys don't like that you spoke up because you've been so against your people for so long, they fired you. And then now you looking for a new bag. So you think you about to come over here and, in our culture and in our sector that you're not even a foundational black American woman. You're from the Caribbeans. You're not even from America sitting up there giving American culture of what we should and shouldn't do, but you go home to a white man every day. So how can you tell a black woman what she should do with a black man and you don't know? That wasn't even your desire. Keep your mouth shut is my thing. Tell us how to deal with white men. Tell black women how they should treat white men. Do not tell black women how they should be treating black men because you have no idea. And for what I know in your dating history, you don't really date black men. I don't like people that because who you date reflects what you think of self. If you, you can't be so pro black power to the people, but you don't see the beauty in a black woman. And please miss me with other races of women are more beautiful than black men and black women. No, they're not. Hate that. I'm sorry. No, they're not. You know why white women go tanning to look like us. Do you know why in a um, strong man competition? Where they got to flex all their muscles. Do y'all know why they all have darker skin? Because they tan the white men's down or the lighter skin pigmented people. They tan them down because muscles look better on brown skin. The black guys don't have to do that. They just put oil on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, that is true. Go look it up before you say something. Go look it up before you say something. We have been so... And there's people that are so scared to speak on these issues because they don't want to get, I don't care. You can't cancel somebody that's not trying to be famous. I don't care about that. At the end of the day, you cannot go home to somebody from a different race, a different culture, and then keep speaking on ours as if you're still in a struggle with us. You're not. Do I find other women attractive? Yes, there's plenty of beautiful white women. There's plenty of beautiful Latino women. There's plenty of beautiful Asian women. But why I choose not to deal with them? Because I understand the, the consequences of doing that. I understand that my beautiful chocolate daughters that I have right now, I would not have that with another race of women. And you couldn't pay me for my daughters to not be as beautiful as they is right now. I did not. I want a kid. I want a children that look like me. I didn't need, even though I do have a light skinned daughter. One of my daughters is light skinned because her mother is, but both of her mother, her mother is black as black. 
Her dad is my skin complexion. Her mother is black also. She's just a light-skinned woman the same way my grandfather is. But I refuse to re procreate or anything with anybody else. And the only person that could kind of get me is a Puerto Rican woman or a Latino woman that identifies as black. That's with the black struggle. The hood I'm from, y'all, we are, are intermingled with the Puerto Ricans, but the Puerto Ricans don't look down on us. The Puerto Ricans don't talk crazy to us. The Puerto Ricans don't tell their daughters they can't date us or any of that. So we have a different type of relationship where it's acceptable. That's all black people are asking for. It's not just the fact of dating outside of your race. It's the fact that the people outside of your race do not identify with you. They don't care about your struggle or your culture or what you go through. They're not trying to do anything. They're, they're not trying to put themselves on the same level as y'all when it comes to being destroyed. They understand that they get even treated differently than I would. So to all the Latinos and Puerto Ricans and Dominicans that understand that, you good with me. Espanol, we we good because I've I've, I've witnessed it, I've seen it, I, I, I've seen Puerto Rican guys risk their life for black men. I've seen it with my own eyes. I'm talking about shootouts, the whole nine. So I can't say those guys aren't a, a part of our plight. They don't tell their sisters they can't date us. They ain't they sisters not scared. Mostly all the Puerto Rican girls in my hood, all of their boyfriends are black. Every last single one of them. But you know why it's acceptable? Because their moms let us come to their house. Their moms treat us like we're one of them. It ain't no different. And they put us on a certain stuff that goes on in Spanish culture. You know how I know that a lot of Latinos are against blacks? Because Latinos have told me that, not black people. Of course, black people have said it to me, but I've got it strictly from the horse's mouth. So I don't need your opinion on it. When, it, when, I, when I come from Philadelphia, where there is probably one of the biggest Puerto Rican and Spanish cultures on in America, besides New York. So don't tell me. I don't know. No, I know. You can ask anybody from Philadelphia. Now, is all of them like that? No, but I'm just talking about the majority of Puerto Ricans. They don't act like that towards us. The Dominicans, who are a little darker than the Puerto Ricans, most of them, they even act more like standoffish towards black people than even the Puerto Ricans do. I don't know why that is, but it just is what it is. The point is you cannot sit up there and be going home to a white man every day and think you about to come in here and tell us anything. You don't know. You're not from this country, first of all. Your parents aren't from this country, first of all. Second of all, you go home, you, you sought out that white man. Candace Owens sought out that white man. I had a guy I worked with y'all one time and he was so proud that his daughter dated a Jewish man. He was so proud. He told me how lucky his daughter was to have a Jewish man, not vice versa. Not the value that his beautiful chocolate African daughter brings, how lucky that man was to have her. No, how lucky she was to have be with a white man. You know what he said to me, y'all? Yeah, because you know how rare it is to have a Jewish man even want a dark skin complected my, 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 my chocolate daughter. Man, I, don't, I was just sitting there looking at him like, wow. You've been hoodwinked. You've been bamboozled. You've been fooled in, into believing you're not beautiful. You've been fooled into thinking that other communities don't deal with the same things that we deal with every single day. The difference is it's not televised. The reason why it's not televised, that is on purpose. Black people do not own media. It's not called history. It's called his story. And the person that has the power is the one that's going to write it. The person that has the power is the one that's going to write it, okay? Y'all got to understand that when we talking about culture and, and, and things of that nature. And it's just me being honest. And like I said, to anybody that, that understands what I'm come, where, I'm, where I'm talking about, that you're from other races and you understand what I'm talking about, salute to you. I got love for you. I'll risk my life for you, too. I wouldn't let nothing bad happen to you. I wouldn't let you be unjust. That's what black people owe everybody else is to not treat them unfairly, to be nice to them. To have some similar of decorum. If, if an Asian guy or an Asian woman is coming at you and they're treating you very nicely, smiles, handshakes like a lot of Asian people do, because it's a misnomer that all of them act crazy towards black people. That is not true. I've known plenty of Koreans and Japanese and Asian people that have embraced me with open arms, have been very nice to me and, and the whole nine, have tried to help me the whole nine. 
plenty of white people the same exact way that some of the nicest people I know are Caucasian people. Some of the nicest people I know are Caucasian. I'm talking about genuinely a nice person. But all of those, you know what they have in common? They understand my plight. They understand what I've been through. They understand what we go through as black people in America. That's all black people want is understanding. Is acknowledgement. Is to be treated fairly. We don't want to be. We don't want to walk around in America and feel like we are treated differently than anybody else, because we have been. We have been. We are treated differently than everybody else. These are facts. So don't be mad at me for looking at my people and saying that we need to be together because we are the enemy. We are the uh, the attacked. We aren't the attackers. We are the attacked. We are the enslaved. We are the mistreated. And I don't know about you. I love black women. I, I don't know how you don't. I just don't know how you don't. And I'm going to stick with them. No matter of what they plights are. No matter about their attitudes and all of the stuff that y'all try to put on black women. I don't care about any of it. I understand half of it too. I get it. I've dealt with it. Seen it. Lived it. The whole nine. It still ain't going to stray me away from my people. Never. Never. Because if we don't love us and find value in us, then who else is? I don't want I don't want you to be sympathetic. I want you to understand me. And I ain't sure too many other people from different races could truly understand me. You can't talk black but sleep white. You can't be a black person in America and the first thing you do is try to get with Caucasian women, Caucasian men. You do everything in your power to not date your own. To not be with your own. And then you make excuses why. Because you say other people treat you better. I've dated other races, y'all. And all that stuff that they say is a lie. I've been called the N-word by Caucasian people. A Caucasian girl I've dated for a while. Now, I've only dated one in my whole lifetime. So I, I ain't this guy that's... But this was much younger before I even understood how bad things were in America. Of course, I always had similar ideals prior to this. But... You try to give people a chance because, like I said, she was different. She was one of the people that I thought, and this is why I, I, it taught me the biggest lesson, why I would never do it again, because I thought that she was different, to be honest with y'all. But she wasn't. She was just like everybody else. She wanted to be, but it wasn't who, how she was raised, and she couldn't help it. And when things hit the fan, you got to see what the true colors was. So this ain't me just talking to y'all and speaking to y'all from inexperience. This is me telling you from experience how I know you, you can't do it. It don't work. We are still public enemy number one. The day we can start doing all of those things are the day that we aren't public enemy number one. The day that black people are treated just as equally and fairly as everybody else. The day that we get our reparations and we get... um. You know, retribute it for all of the things we've been through. Then we could start fresh and then this, that, and the third. Because miss me with that you love who you love stuff. So how did slaves fall in love? Because they couldn't love no other races. So how did slaves fall in love? How did people prior to Jim Crow back in the 1920s and 10s and 30s, how did they fall in love? Oh, well, I want you to sit on that and think about that. Y'all know what this is, man. Dean. By any means. And I holler at y'all.